guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Custom. So today I'm sharing with you my Earth X Hyperion Custom Statue. This was a Superman Premium Format from Sideshow Collectibles. Um, I'm pretty sure if you've uh, seen it in the beginning of the video or if you have one in person or seen it in the past, uh, it's a really cool little Superman statue. Uh, I forgot how I got this one a while back. Either I think I got it at just like a good deal in the trade or it was damaged. Uh, but of course I threw out the cape. I uh, added the neck area and redid all that, and I pretty much sculpted everything on. Now, um, I don't think I have any work in progress pictures on this one because it was just a side item I did every once in a while here and there, and I just kind of wanted to do it on my own and just have something really cool. Um, he's not really one of my favorite characters, but I read the Earth X storyline a lot, and I read uh, Paradise X and uh, Universe X. And I really liked his background. Um, if you guys really want to check out a story you've never really read it before, he's basically Hyperion. He's gotten older. He can't die. He really wants to like go to the afterlife to find his lover or something like that. And he makes a deal with like Reed Richards when they're trying to you know recreate heaven and hell and all that stuff that he wants to pretty much uh, just die and stuff. It's really really cool uh, background to him, and I just liked it so. Um, if you don't know him, he's pretty much basically like a Marvel Superman back in the day. Uh, the character had a crazy different, like, uh, um, origin stories. I think there's actually like two versions of him out there or something at one point. Uh, but I just like this older version of him. It was just really, really cool. So it was just something really just to kind of mess with and try out and it worked out pretty good. Now, what I wanted to do though is... I wanted to make him look older and worn. He doesn't really bleed and he doesn't really get beat up to the point where like he's got bruises. It's just that I wanted to do the outfit to the point where he's just old. He's an old dude and he's just kind of worn out from battle and he's just, you know, he just, it's just kind of like he's done with all this crap. That's kind of what it is. Um, one of the cool things about it though is I'm pretty happy with it is doing his hair uh, because he is balding and stuff. So we'll get a little bit closer and everything get the camera up a little bit uh, so you can kind of see what I did with the hair so I re-sculpted the hair I pretty much took out Superman's hair and I uh, read, uh, you know I put him down to a ball and I re-sculpted this hair onto him and I tried to make it like you know as you know thinning and it's kind of like that comb over look to him as much as possible which has worked out pretty good and when I did the paint up and everything it just kind of gave it that really cool look of uh, thinning um, as far as the cape goes, uh, I had the seamstress that did it for me. Uh, she did it a little while back. One of the things though, there was a little bit of a miscommunication where I wanted it as a single layer, but she actually did it as a double layer. So it caused a little bit more issues. So I had to kind of uh, improvise and everything. And I, I'm coming to the point now where trying to do like cloth and capes and stuff is becoming more and more of a hassle than it is to probably just like do a 3D print of a cape and then sculpt it and tweak it and add it that way because um, it, it's just cloth is becoming a more and more of an issue and I can see why some of these uh, companies are trying to get away from cloth now but so what I did is uh, I it, if you watch some of my live stream videos I've talked about this and worked it on there I cut a piece in here and I designed the cloth where it gets glued in there and then what happens is the cloth goes over here and gets uh, tapped in here. But what happened for some odd reason is my design and everything, the cape came out way too long as you can kind of see. Uh, so I had to uh, basically kind of flip it over here like this and do it that way. Um, a little bit of a downside but other than that I kind of just you know I did a lot of markings on it I hit it with my sander at the bottom of the cape uh, and I kind of dirtied it up and everything and it worked out pretty good uh, but like I said I designed this cape a, like a, maybe a year or so ago um, and when the seamstress gave it to me and everything it just was uh, it was just a bad time for everybody I had stuff going on she had stuff going on and to try to correct it and make another cape would have just been a hassle so I decided let's just run with it and I think it'll look pretty cool like this so it's fine um, but the uh, lesson for now on is like I'm going to try to get away from the cloth stuff, on, at least on cape. Even though I like cloth capes, it's very, very hard to have someone else do it for you. Uh, they don't have the item. You give them a pattern, but sometimes that pattern doesn't work and back and forth. So I'm going to start staying away from that for now. Because with the 3D printing now, there's so many characters that have capes. If this like Superman kit has a really cool cape, 
and the file is only like seven dollars i could buy the file just to print out the cape and then i could take the cape and start tweaking it from there so that's kind of like what i'm going to start going through forward for now on uh but as far as you can see a lot of people wonder like what's going on with the chest this is like an alex ross design i guess of uh hyperion so he gave him like this uh crazy armor here and with the symbols uh which is kind of cool but he painted him in a very very dull matte black outfit which i kind of wanted to copy and as far as his boots go in the comic he gave him shiny boots like they were metal too i didn't want to do that for mine i wanted to give him like leather boots and dirty them up because i really wanted him to look older and just kind of you know just worn out and i didn't really put too much thought into the base it's a simple generic base i sculpted some rocks and that's it it's kind of like earth x uh you know where they're fighting uh, the whole storyline if you see it it's not really like clean new york or anything special it's just like really the earth is coming to an end and they have to kind of like reset everything it's a really cool story uh but that's pretty much it I, it was just a really fun uh item uh i don't know how well you can see it with his skin tones i tried to give him like a lot of dirty hands and mud but i also tried to give him like a lot of speckling and old man skin uh and just kind of ran with it um, but yeah, that's pretty much my, uh, Hyperion. Um, so also too, as far as the gold goes, this is a pale alclad gold. And then what I did is I hit it with a uh, duplicolor gloss color, uh, gloss to shine. And then what I did is I misted some, uh, alclad chrome onto it, but just a little bit, just to give it a sheen. So I didn't want this to be that mirror looking in your face metal. But I didn't want it to be a very dull metal either. So it works out pretty good where it gives it like a worn old school like metal to it. And it goes really good against the black too. As you can kind of see. But that is my Earth X Hyperion. Really cool statue. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Um, the Superman statue is a great item for a lot of custom items. So if you like characters like Hyperion. Um, let's see you know. Um, any, anyone that has like a Superman build from other comic books, I'm trying to think, I can, like I had a bunch of them the other day, but now I can't, I'm like drawing a blank, but you know, you, there's a lot of characters out there, if you have this statue and stuff, it would work. Oh, one last thing, yeah, so one of the things I remember about this kit, well not kit, statue, so... If a lot of you guys see a Superman statue out there, and he has, actually has a lean to him, the problem is, is he is polystone. But his boots that are glued into his body are actually a very, very soft resin. So the problem is, is they didn't put a metal rod going all the way up the leg. All they did was put a metal rod inside the foot key area. And therefore, Superman is so top heavy, right? So, so, so top heavy that what happens is he starts to lean. The same thing with the Batman one. Uh, because what it is is... They had that huge, huge cape that has resin. He has all this polystone resin. And he had that little ankle with soft resin holding it. And he starts to lean. So what I did is when I chopped it up, he's got a metal rod all the way up his leg. If I kind of pop him out, I'll show you. See, he's got a metal rod. This metal rod goes all the way up his ankle up to here about. So this way, he won't be leaning. And I also put a metal rod going in this leg all the way up here too because of that. So now this one isn't going to have a leaning issue. Even though he's not that top heavy anymore because of that cape, he won't lean. But that's the downside with that Superman kit. It's a really, really poor design on the factory. I don't think really Sideshow had much to do with it. It was like the factory was like, oh, okay, we'll just cast up these feet and we'll throw them on. But that was the problem with it. So that's why if you guys have this Superman or Batman and he's leaning, that's the issue. It's the ankles that are supporting all this weight and it's a very soft resin. And sadly, no matter how much uh, blow drying or heating to warp him back, it's just going to lean again. The only way to actually stop your Batman or Superman from not leaning anymore is to dremel all the way up this calf muscle till you get past this soft resin into the polystone calf muscle and put a metal rod in there and then he'll stop from leaning. That's the only issue. So I think that's what I remember too while I probably got him cheap was because he had a leaning issue and somebody was selling him off pretty cheap. And I think when I uh, got it from the person, if I remember correctly, I told him throw out the keep. I don't want the keep sent to me. Throw it in the trash. I just want the Superman statue. 
So that is it. That's my Hyperion. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks uh, for watching. Be sure to go check out the Earth X, Paradise X, and Universe X stories from uh, Marvel. They're kind of like the Kingdom Come of Marvel stories, which is kind of cool. So there you, there you go. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be back with some more videos.